Did I, Ed? One good reason why. Oh, please, Max. Peter hasn't been home all night. Slobbering all over Lauren like that. You know what you get for Christmas, don't you? Lead. Oh, look, please, just one phone call. That's all I'm asking. Oh, Max, please, just one phone call, please. You're going to have to help me. I think your earrings are the last thing you should be worrying about after your behaviour last night. They were very expensive. Well, they probably dropped on the floor when you fell over. How much did you say? Oh, what happened to you? Did you go ten rounds with Mark Tyson? Hurry up, please. Is that the thanks I get for staying with you all of last night? Just hurry up. Thank you. Surprise, surprise. Lauren ain't heard from him since the party. Oi, cloth is. I heard you first time. Look at the state of you. Oh, well, I've got a, a very bad uh, sprained ankle, bruised ribs. All right, Danny. Roxy sends her love. But she said Amy's got a sickness bug or something. Oh. What's with the neck brace? A precautionary measure. She insisted that we stop off at the chemist and buy one. The consultant said I was one compressed vertebra away from a wheelchair. Yeah, well, you thank your lucky stars you didn't end up in the mortuary. I wasn't drunk. I was targeted. Somebody deliberately set out to hurt me. Oh, and you, you think to tell me this now? Well, I, I, I'm still trying to take it all in myself. Why would they? Well, I, I don't know. Um, mugging? Burglary? You should seriously lay off the wine. You know, there's Chilean grape farmers with pictures of you on their walls just above the Virgin Mary. You got me change? Jane, give us some money, ass. No, I'm not sure. Well, if you think you can get round us with a few rashes of bacon, you can think again after Peter's technicolour yawn. So it was worth it. Seeing Glenda's <laughs> face, I mean, them shoes, they must have been worth a few bob. Right, this looks sharp, eh? This cafe ain't gonna clean itself, That's is it? That's the last of her problems. What are you on about? I see her getting out of a cab with a walking stick and a plastic collar. She looks a right stay. What has happened? Don't know. Cab won't give me the time of day. What's up with you? Nothing. Nothing, he says he ain't said a word all morning. Well, are you surprised? Wasn't exactly the best time coming, was it? I mean, Glenda saw to that, didn't she, that selfish cow? It don't matter. Well, it does. Because your dad was going to say a few words. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, how much we missed you and what well, a place wasn't the same without you. I always knew there was a sensitive side lurking in there somewhere. And don't go spreading it around too much. We've got a reputation to think of. Hey, Dad. How big a bird do you think we should order? It's the last day today, isn't it? Well, what do we want one of them for? Well, it's traditional, isn't it? You've got to have a turkey on Christmas Day, haven't you? I think the nuggets are made out of in the freezer. Oh, oh Jane, they say the small is beautiful, but it ain't necessarily too full. Sorry, Doc. Well, this here community choir, I mean, judging by the numbers, we might as well live in the Outer Hebrides. Yeah, fine, Doc, yeah, fine. Oh, marvellous. Well, will you be at the community centre for the rehearsal at 5.30 sharp? Thanks. Oh. Anything? Hmm? Ian, it was minus two last night, and Peter went out without a jacket on. I don't really care. Of course I care. Only oh, it was Muggins here, went out looking for him. Well, please make that be him. What's Glenda calling? Um, probably have a go at me about her shoes or something. Look, I'll get rid of the call and I'll call her later. Why have you got Glenda's number? Well, she was looking for a job a while back and I took her number. It was just the easiest way to get rid of her. Now where are you going? Uh, see Tamwa, see if he knows anything. Oh! Oh, apologies accepted. Man, Peter's gone AWOL or something. It's kids for you. Never-ending stream of grief. I'll have a